Uh, David here with uh, Ludovine. I'm going to make a punch today for uh, fall Thanksgiving. This is Chef's Recipe Challenge presented by Culinary Kitchen. Chef's Recipe Challenge is exactly that. One classic recipe, one local chef with one challenge. Turn that family favorite into a restaurant quality dish. We're here at Culinary Kitchen in Oklahoma City with owner Claude Rappaport. If you're looking to raise the bar on your kitchen experience, Claude and his daughter Lori can help you make that happen. I'm Dave Cathy, the food dude, and I'm here at the Culinary Kitchen just in time for Thanksgiving. I've gathered some of the city's best chefs to help you figure out how to take your Thanksgiving feast to the next level. Here they are. Holiday punch. Five ounces of buffalo trace. Great bourbon. Florida Kanya, seven year rum, nice aged rum, complements the bourbon very well. ounces of uh, Canton, ginger liqueur, two and a half ounces of fresh squeezed lemon juice, and five ounces of apple cider. If you have a fancy punch bowl, it's the way to go. Top soda water. Don't spill it. Garnish cinnamon sticks and clove punched apples. It's a good question. Falling leaves. Yeah, it's it's autumnal. It's falling leaves. It's, it's good it's Thanksgiving. Uh, my name is Clayton Barr. I'm with Putnam Wines, and I'm here to talk about wines for Thanksgiving. Um, it's one of the most challenging dinners to choose wine for. You don't got a big beef course or anything like that. So you're dealing with um, turkey and dressing and cranberry sauce and uh, mashed potatoes and sweet potatoes and just a lot of different flavors going on on the table. So you want to choose wines that are going to not overpower the food. So that's what I've done is, is I've got some wines uh, chosen here that um, reflect uh, what's going to be at the, at the Thanksgiving table. Start with uh, the Champelou Vouvray here. This is a Chenin Blanc. Now we've talked about this wine before. This is one of the best food white wines that I've ever seen. This is my absolute all-time favorite uh, Thanksgiving Day wine. I, I have it every Thanksgiving. Um, it's just real light and crisp. It's got a little bit of sweet on the front and it's that sweet dry balance that makes it perfect for pairing with food. The next wine I have is a White Cote du Rhone. And white Cote du Rhone's just have this, I and mean, they're great in the summertime too, but especially in the fall, 
Um, they have just so many uh, autumnal uh, aromas coming off the glass. They just match up really well with the sweet potatoes and the squashes and things like that. And I love the way they balance everything out. Um, bubbles at the Thanksgiving table are always, bubbles go with everything. So what I chose is a little Beaujolais uh, uh, bubbly here uh, called Effervescence from Nicole Chanrion in France. Um, it's really light and refreshing and it, it, Beaujolais is a great wine to be drinking at this time of year. Uh, another one I chose is the Chook Sparkling Shiraz. The uh, Sparkling Shiraz, this red, these red bubbles are just one of the, my favorite, this is the other wine that I always bring every Thanksgiving. I bring three wines usually. The sparkling Shiraz, Shiraz is, is uh, one of the best. Then I have a um, actually a Cru Beaujolais. We talked about Beaujolais. This is not the Beaujolais Nouveau that is uh, common in stores around this time of year and celebrated. This is the good stuff. And Cru Beaujolais are grown on like red volcanic soil, especially this one and aged in oak for a little bit. So it's it's light and fruity and fun, but it's also a, has a lot of serious components to it as well. And it won't overpower the turkey or anything else at the table. Uh, another good red wine is a Cabernet Franc from the Loire Valley. Not the ones from California that are a little bit heavier in alcohol. They're gonna overpower everything at the table. This is real lean and tight. It has a lot of bell pepper and jalapeno pepper aromas that are just, that really match well with, with what's going on on the table. And last but not least, I picked the La Linda Bernarda. Now this is an unusual wine, but it's a cousin of Red Zinfandel. Everybody always talks about using Red Zinfandels for the Thanksgiving table. I feel they're a little bit high in alcohol and they're gonna kind of tend to overpower things. So this one's lower in alcohol and has a higher acidity and it still has all that wild brambly uh, fruit flavors that are uh, common with Red, red Zin. So uh, this is why I picked the La Linda Bernarda. So those are my picks for Thanksgiving and uh, I hope you enjoy them. They're all very, very affordable and happy Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm.